before we get into today's video, I want to let you know our t-shirts are now for sale on our website, thisoffgridlife.com. You can go check them out. And a big thank you to everyone who has ordered already. Good morning and welcome back. We are starting off the day with some siding. We're gonna try and get these two walls finished. Uh, the ones that we started in kind of the last few videos. Our lights have arrived. Unfortunately, they are not really what I was expecting. So we're kind of on the fence. We might spray paint them black or we might just let the laziness win and get these installed so that we can keep moving. But they're, they're supposed to be like a bronze whatever, but you can see they have these red lines. So, and they're kind of the same color as the siding, so they're not really going to stand out very much. But otherwise, I like the shape of the light. We should be able to spray paint it black, and I think it'll look a lot better. But we also just really want to keep moving, so we'll see how the day goes. We have all of the prep work done that, so that we can keep moving up. We've got the outlets installed and the spots for the light fixtures are ready as well. So I'm just gonna get into it. <laughs> I just need it for one cut. Pretty Show much Show me your good. glasses though. What's that? Show me your glasses and take a deep breath. <sighs> just don't breathe, that's what it is. I learned that through the pandemic. Don't breathe and you'll be safe. <laughs> it's good.
Well, that's as far as we can go on this wall. We're gonna be doing something at the top. We're not too sure exactly what that's gonna look like yet, but we've got to do metal that comes over the top of the uh, little pony wall that we have up there to finish it off. So we need to figure out how to uh, seal off the metal from below without blocking the ventilation because we've got our trim boards stick out further than the siding. So we need to cover that as well. So there's gonna be a little gap between the metal and the siding. And we want to have it so that there can't be any wasps or bugs or whatever getting up into there, but we can still get the, all the ventilation that comes up behind the siding can go up as well as it heats up. So not sure what that's gonna look like yet, but we'll figure it out. So we've got a little bit left while well, we have this whole top section of this wall to do still, but we're running out of daylight. So I'm not sure if we're gonna keep going tonight or if we'll just pick it up tomorrow. What do you think? Tomorrow. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so Greg is gonna caulk all the edges on this wall before we wrap up for the day. We uh, tried to get this color mix caulking, but it was not the right color at all. So we ended up having to order in the hardy board color specific siding and that just arrived. Of course, we didn't order enough for the whole house project. So at least we have enough to finish off today. Greg's got good caulk. <laughs> Before we carry on with siding today, I want to get some spray paint on these light fixtures. I think I was saying earlier that I was maybe going to let the laziness win on this one and just put the lights up, but we were holding it up and it just doesn't look very good. So, and we went into town last night, so I got some spray paint. We're going to try and turn these light fixtures into black. So it'd be much better to get rid of this weird red line. See how that turns out. Paint's kind of dripping off. I probably should have scuffed up the uh, metal a little bit or I don't know. Just gonna let it dry, put on a second coat later on. So now we're gonna switch over to finishing up this wall. Should go a lot easier than this one because we had a lot of funky cuts on this wall. So now we just pretty much have straight aside from one little box and around the door. So should go quicker, hopefully. Like, 
So before we can finish off this wall, we need to take out all of the rain screen. We put a piece between each vertical part. So we just need to take that out. I'm not sure why we put it in, but it would block the ventilation. So it's not good to have it in there. So we'll get that out, get the final two pieces on, and then that'll be it for this section of the house, which is really exciting. It looks amazing. We're gonna start working on that big wall over there next we got a lot of work to do before we can do that so one step at a time Can you believe we're drying laundry outside at the end of November?
It's kind of annoying. So we're going to get these light fixtures up now. Um, the paint turned out okay. This one's a little messed up, so I'm going to get Greg to put it on this side. The paint was just kind of dripping off, so I tried to wipe the drops off and cover them, but it didn't really work out on this one. So yeah, otherwise it looks okay. I'm hoping that because they're higher up, they're going to be, you won't really notice it. And then the other one turned out a lot better. So yeah, we're just going to get these installed. Nothing. <laughs> no. Nothing. Now you're probably wondering why we only have two lights out here, but we actually do have a plan. This outlet up here behind me is going to be for string lights. So we have it nice and high so that the lights can come directly out of the wall and go around on tall railing beams that we're going to install. So there'll be no extension cords or anything like that, and it'll really brighten up the space. And with that, we're going to wrap up the video. We'll see you in the next one.